We all have a common cause. We're all passionate people. We want to find Jason. About 15 volunteers have walked for miles with search dogs looking for Jason Landry. We just really believe that this family needs and deserves closure. No family should have to go to bed at night haunted because they don't know where their loved one is. Investigators say Landry disappeared on December 13th, 2020, driving from San Marcos to his parents' Houston area home. On December 14th, a volunteer firefighter found Landry's car crashed and abandoned in Luling. That's where search efforts continue. A lot of this area does flood, and so we're thinking, you know, God forbid, Jason's no longer with us. Um, if his remains were, you know, somewhere, they could quite possibly have been spread over a great distance. So we don't want to leave one rock unturned. She says the mile radius around the crash site has been searched extensively, so crews are looking beyond that. We then form what is called a lane pattern search where we all stand in a line side by side and then we go back and forth over the property in a sweeping motion. Jason Watts says this method with a GPS tracking app works. He says he helped find the remains of his former classmate earlier this year. San Angelo, father of four, Brandon Lawson, had been missing for almost nine years. He says this search for Landry can be challenging. You've got a lot of grass overgrowth, and at this point, Jason's been missing for almost two years. That presents difficulty because at this point, what we're looking for is probably going to be very small, and that grass can cover that up. But Watts says he's found someone before, and he and his crew will do it again. I believe it can and will be done in Jason's case. It's just a matter of when. Meredith Aldis, Fox 7 Austin News.